I'm Danielle Brown. I'm a principal dancer with the Sarasota Ballet, and I've been here for 16 seasons. This is my 16th season, and I've done many of Ashton's work, so I'm excited to talk about him today. My name is Grant Coyle, and I'm here to set Rhapsody, which is a, a ballet by Frederick Ashton, uh, and I've set several ballets here over the years. And my name is Daniel Pratt, I'm a soloist um, here, and this is my 11th season, so uh, I'm excited to talk about Ashton's Ballets too, because we've, we've done a lot of them we have, in yes. that time. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, especially these two, yeah. <laughs> um, but at the present, present time, in this next program, we're doing two Ashton Ballets, mm -hmm. Dante Sonata yes. and Rhapsody, yes. we are. Yes. which we feel are quite different as pieces, yes? I, oh, I think yes. they're very different. Different, yes. Yeah. Well, how's, how's that? Well, I mean, Dante was made in 1940. Ashton had made it when he was a young man. Um, and, uh, you know, World War II had started in 1939. I think his mother had just died. Mm -hmm. So you definitely feel in Dante's Sonata that there's, um, there's this sense of loss and the sort of futility of war and, mm. you know, um, there's a lot of feeling in there. I mean, as with all of Ashton's ballets there, we, we were saying he's, he's a very sensitive choreographer. Um, but, but Dante's unusual because it, it's very expressive movement. It's not, you wouldn't see these steps in the classroom. And that's interesting no, yeah, for that's Ashton. True. And also, there's, there's mm -hmm. no point shoes. No point there. bare feet, it's all actually. Bare foot, yes. Which is yeah. very unusual for Ashton. Yeah, never does yeah, he ever. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, and just that aesthetic alone like makes you move differently than his other pieces. But yeah. it has like a spiritualness to it that his other ballets don't necessarily have. Mm -hmm. Like, not religious per se, but like there's like. Um, a spirituality to it and it like kind of takes you to this other place which um, I think is kind of magical about it and makes um, it really and special. I mean there's and and then there's the music as well I mean oh, the, the music, music is so oh, music. gorgeous yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The music I will I'll never get sick of hearing it yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah the, I mean the, the that mm -hmm. this piano is you know, gorgeous it's just fantastic you know and then Rhapsody is also but, yeah, I mean, I was gonna a, say, big, a big music piano too. piece yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like 40 years later, so it, mm -hmm. it's yeah. the ballet of a much, you know, a, a very mature man mm -hmm. um, who's done it, who had, had done a lot of ballets in between. Yes, yeah. Um, but then as Daniel was saying, it was, it was like um, a present for the Queen Mother. And what a um, gift, I mean. And also a, 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 like a virtuoso piece for the main man, the main the male yeah. dancer, the main male dancer, who, yeah. who, as we were saying, was Baryshnikov, who was the biggest star in the world at mm. that time. Right. Um, but, also, but it's also challenging for the quarter ballet, really challenging, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. especially for men, steps. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot yeah. of dancing. Um, it's so like athletic and technical at yes, the same exactly. time. Yeah, yeah, very technical. Mm -hmm. Because, I, you know, he chose like the six brightest you know, yeah, young things right. there yeah. at the time. Just, mm -hmm. I think, just to, I don't know, show that the Royal Ballet was at its zenith or whatever. Mm. Um, and also the women, all the women were, were very up and coming, you know, mm. so it was, um, but yeah, but there's, but then there's still that Ash, that typical Ashton stuff, is yes. there lots of body, lots yes. of yeah. body work, you know, moving yeah. the body. That's it, mm -hmm. lots of, Quick fit foot footwork, yes. yeah. changes of direction, and the uh, musicality. Yeah. Like it's so musical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all yeah. I can see is like the music in the steps. Yeah, and exactly. That's very him yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Where you like can't picture anything else to what you're hearing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's deceptively difficult. I mean, as we always say, you know, ballet should look easy. Like you know, you yeah. should think, oh, yeah. I could do that. But, yeah, um, yeah. but you yeah. know, it's really difficult. It's really it's hard. Yeah. 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 It's probably one of the hardest male roles. There oh, it is. Yeah, I mean, the fit, yeah, yeah, for stamina, for, yeah, mm -hmm. and like, like all the tricks and yeah, exactly. you feel jump, yes. turn, all the things, yes. partner, yeah. yeah, everything, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's mm -hmm. it and about... and for the woman, you know, just to, you have to have really strong point work. I think, yes, yes, you know, yeah, um, you have to be like very organized and clean yes. and precise, yes. but then soft on uh, top, soft, which exactly. is also very Ashton, like yes. 
yeah. click on the bottom, but then so yeah. relaxed yeah. on top, and exactly. that combination of things is hard. Yeah. To yeah. to nail. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's interesting because you were saying about how hard it is for the man to do technically, but also mm-hmm. the the kind of panache or elegance yes. that he has to have uh-huh. too. Well, like yes. it's there's not, that layered on top yes. of it. I mean, yeah, um, again, yeah, because, absolutely. Uh, I mean, like with Brushnikov, it was just you know personality plus. Yeah. Plus, right. plus <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and and it needs that, you know. Um, because I've well, I've seen you know dancers who can do the technique, mm, but it and, doesn't and it's just you know it, it's nothing. Yeah, it can be else. boring. Yeah, if exactly. It's, it's yeah. got to yes, have absolutely. something, something else. really yeah. stylish, something really you know a lot of panache and mm. whatever. But that's like yeah, that's like sums up Ashton. I feel like all of his ballets have like personality, and yeah. if you don't dance it with something else going on, it mm. can be like it almost doesn't look like his work anymore yes. in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like. I feel like every ballet of his has its own little personality and world that he creates, and you really have to have like the maturity to be able to like really be the person. Even if there's no story, like mm-hmm. you have to be the style and mm-hmm. evoke the like full picture, and not just like, oh, I did a perfect pirouette, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I because agree. the pirouette's almost second to all the other stuff yes, in yeah. his work. Yeah. Because it's like not his yeah, style yeah. if it's not done in this it's missing something, you know? And that's what makes his work so special. There's a warmth I I always feel like with his ballets. You have to kind of find, uh, uh, the the other word I'm thinking in my head is weight too. You have to Uh be really good at transferring Uh your weight Mm. because if you Uh don't do that properly, you you don't do the steps. I mean, that's true of dancing in general. I used to think his work was just that, like the like opposition and the using of the bending of the body. But like, it's, I don't know, I feel like his work is so much more than that. Like it is that, it's, uh, absolutely. It's so three dimensional, so sort of 360 yes. degrees. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you think of the, like the ballerinas he made certain ballets for and what they had special about them, it's all built into like the characters and the style and it's like celebrating all these like special nuances and so the artists like, they were. Like, like and birthday offering you're talking about. More, like, right. Like, like mm-hmm. all those mm-hmm. Or like Marguerite Narmand, like, oh, you right. know, it's yeah. so like special, like the character and the way that you have to dance it. And mm. Even the steps he created was like so inspired by who it was for, for and who yeah. danced it yeah. originally. Yeah. Is it intimidating then when oh you have gosh, to tackle yeah. <laughs> something <laughs> that was made on Fontaine, yeah. or, Fontaine yeah. or and all the other ballerinas have done it yeah. since her? Oh my oh god, god. Yes. it's yes. like it's yes. daunting, especially yes. when you're like, I'm just a little, you know, Danielle Brown, I'm nothing. Like, oh my god, yeah. But it gives you room to bring yourself to it as well. But yeah, I, I, I feel like his work makes you feel like if you don't bring yourself to the table as well, like. Mm like it needs that and so yeah it gives you the like invitation to like actually bring something more than just like I'm really good at technique you know like Mm. you can have um, your own ideas and artistry yeah you can be like Mm -hmm. individual yes like you can be Mm -hmm. a person yes yeah yeah and for me like I mean that's like everything. Like mm-hmm. I couldn't be more grateful to mm. do work like that. S- uh, more, like it gives you a freedom as well. Yes, in a way. yes, absolutely. Yeah. To yeah. kind of experiment and go mm. to places that you wouldn't necessarily mm. have tried before. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't be even the dancer, nearly the dancer I am now, if it wasn't for doing his work. Like absolutely not. Mm. You know? And just so much of it. Like, yes, yeah, so much and, of it, and all the different, and, yeah. um, you know, styles within yes, his yeah, style. Yeah, you know. Yeah. When you think about style, and I'm sort of thinking about English style and maybe royal ballet style or, or a, a house style there, I think Ashton was responsible for it in a way. You know, mm. he kind of completely was was responsible for a whole look of a company mm. over a, over a, a long time. Um, you know, you, you, when you think of the fact that he not only choreographed all of these ballets, but he directed the company. Mm. Um, and I think he he we use the word classical but sometimes i think it's useful to remember that actually his ballets aren't classical they're neoclassical so they're they're mm-hmm. asking you to think about your technique and how you use the work that's in class true. in a very different way from a petipa ballet yeah, um true. and we we said earlier about his what he did for male dancing which mm. although you could probably argue 
the ballerina roles that he made are incredibly satisfying. The things he did for dancers like Anthony Dowell completely mm -hmm. changed the way the male dancer was yeah. uh, was seen mm -hmm. um, and opened up a whole sort of new Absolutely. range mm -hmm. for for the male dancer. Um, and I think I think also you know, we we sh sh why you know why should we do be doing Ashton? It's just that the ballets are successful. They come back mm -hmm. time yeah. and time again. You know, yeah. like female garde, and you know, so people love them. You know, people mm. respect them, and they're basically good p ballets. They're yeah. like yeah. like the Balanchines. You know, they're basically masterpieces. Yeah. Both choreographers have done you know several masterpieces that will mm -hmm. have never been better, really. You mm -hmm. know, and yeah. that's why dancers want to keep doing them. Companies want to keep uh, mm -hmm. you know it, them in the rep. Mm -hmm. And audiences want to keep seeing them. Yeah. Um, you know, both both choreographers. You know, like all artists, you know, they've had their you know mistakes, you know, <laughs> their flops or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, but there's still you know a, a central core of, especially Ashton, of you know that they're really fantastic pieces, mm -hmm. and you know they've stood the test of time. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and you know. Like even now, kids today, you know, they, your, your, your generation, <laughs> you find, they still find them such a challenge yeah. mm -hmm. and, and exciting to perform. Yeah. And, yeah. and audiences do as well, you know, I mean, audiences love Rhapsody, you know, and, mm -hmm. and yeah. well, you know, lots of, you know, Dream and mm -hmm. uh, uh, lots of Ashton pieces. Um, and I think that's why there's this, he's still around, you know, the, the legacy is because he was, you know, a genius. Um, yeah. yeah. There's no denying it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I know. There's, th yeah. There are just so many levels to his ballets, too. Mm -hmm. Not only, like you were saying, sort of audiences respond to it not only because they look great, but it's also the music he picked, the designers mm -hmm. he worked mm -hmm. with. Mm. Uh, it's like the whole package, you know, yeah. you go yeah. and see these ballets and it's it's like something you've, n you've never mm -hmm. seen before. Yeah, it's world class. Um, it's, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the mind of this man yeah. would be so oh, interesting no. to... So creative. Uh, mm. Yeah, such mm -hmm. a sort of poly, polymath or whatever. Yeah, know, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like, he, he, you know, he, well, you, well, you know, you can read, you know, that he knew a lot about music, art, you know, right. all that sort of stuff. And I mean, I'm sure all great choreographers have, have to have that, you know, like in the sort of diagolith tradition. Right, yes. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's a really good um, mm -hmm. word to use, yeah. So, no, but that's why people, you know, that's why he's still around because of the, you know, the, the wonderful pieces he did, you know. Mm -hmm. So, we've been talking about Ashton and how wonderful he is, and you should come see for yourself November 18th and 19th. We will be doing our second program called Expressions, so come check it out. <laughs>